We did drive all the way here from California. This is uh, an interesting drive, a long drive. People said, what made you drive all the way from California? In December of last year, I went with Chris to Fiji. So he had been calling people, come to Fiji, come to Fiji, come to Fiji. And some of, many of you heard the story. Ten days before he went to Fiji, God told me, go to Fiji. Well, I, I don't have the money. Go to Fiji. I'm, I'm not going to find the money. Where am I going to find it? Go to Fiji. Well, I can put it on a credit card. And if I ask people to donate money, maybe God will pay me back that way. I do that. I'm on my way to Fiji. And in L.A., I meet him at the airport. Now, at this point, I've never talked to Chris. I've never met him. I've never spoke with him. I don't know anything about what we're doing. God just told me to go to Fiji. And I'm in the airport, and I see him, and I said, Chris, before we get on this plane, I have one question. And I said, what are we doing when we go to Fiji? And he says, oh, brother, you're going to be blessed. <laughs> we went to Fiji, and during that time, I had had people who donated, you know, towards friends and family. And when I put it on Facebook, dozens of my friends never saw the call. And a lot of my friends afterwards told me, how come you didn't ask me? I would have donated. I would have given you money. And so here I am in Fiji, $1,648 short of what I needed to cover my trip. And I thought, when I get home, I don't know how I'm going to make this happen. And as we were there, some of you saw the scope. My mattress was lumpy, and I would just switch mattresses. And not switch beds. You know, those are empty beds, but I switched mattresses. And where all my stuff was shoved in the corner, my wallet was at the edge of the bed picked up my wallet and I realized it wasn't mine because I could feel mine in my back pocket. And I opened it up and it was full of Fiji money. About 350 American dollars worth. And I thought, wow! Where's the idea? I'm going to be honest. I'm going to return it. I'm gonna, as much as I need it, I'm going to return it. I'm going to be honest. Maybe there's a reward. There's business cards. There's receipts. Not one piece of identification in it. So then I keep looking and in a secret little compartment in the back, I unzip it, and it's full of Australian money. And I'm just like, wow. Then I stop, and I, and I get this impression from the Holy Spirit, and I see God smiling and laughing and telling me, keep going. And so I look at the exchange rates. It is down to the dollar, the exact amount of money I need. Wow. To the dollar, and I thought, 